Hello, KLA students and family members. I am Ms. Gomez. I was just doing a little wood shedding. Wood shedding is practicing. And this is something that your uh, students will be doing as well, your children. All right. So today, by the end of your visit, you will, uh, as a family member or parent, uh, you'll understand how the students log in to their Google Classrooms to get their assignments. Okay, you will also understand what materials uh, the students need to be successful in this class. And at the end, you'll be able to uh, record uh, an introduction video on Flipgrid, which is uh, what the students use to record their class work and their homework. All right, so students, okay, go ahead and log into um, your dance class, Google Classroom, okay, and um, show your parents the syllabus in Classroom Topics syllabus, okay, and also read the materials for dance class, and I'm going to have a picture for you right here. All right, so tap boards, that's what a tap dance board looks like. It could be plywood, MDF, um, you know, anything that, that uh, the student um, can use in order to tap dance. It could be pretty much any size um, that will fit in your home or in their room or where their dance space is. Um, here's a picture of their uh, dance uniform. Okay, so um, either leotard, tights, or leggings, tap shoes, and jazz shoes. Always bring notebooks and pencils to class. And here's a little example of what the students look like in their uniform. Okay, and here's an, al an alternate uh, uniform. Uh, and this uh, is also required on Mondays for uh, lyrical jazz dance and ballet technique. Tuesdays tap dance, so you will need the tap shoes. Uh, we practice on Wednesdays. I don't see you on Wednesdays. I don't see the students on Wednesdays, but we practice on Wednesdays, which is called the woodshed, okay? And on Thursdays, we have jazz class. And Fridays, it's hip hop. And on Fridays, um, it's, it's casual wear. And you can wear sweats or uh, t-shirts, whatever you like, anything that doesn't have a logo on it. Um, it needs to be, uh, make sure that you're covering all of your, your body. Uh, you can be shorts, it could be pants, sweats, and it could be, um, well, right now it's kind of warm, so you don't need a hoodie or anything like that, but just, just something casual that you can move in and dance in. All right, so. Uh, in order to record an introduction video on Flipgrid, students um, go ahead and go into your Google Classroom and you'll go into Classwork, go to Topics, and then there's an Open House topic, and then click on the Flipgrid link and go ahead and record an introduction video. That way I know you are here. Otherwise, um, come and see, unless you come and see me and, and talk to me. But if, if you don't uh, come to the other link to, to say hi, then this is how I know you were there. And make sure students to turn in the video as an assignment for credit. All right. Thanks, guys. And very important, uh, before I go, make sure that the student has a dance space at home, a designated space where... Uh, there aren't any distractions um, and a, a place where they can move around and feel comfortable dancing in. And make sure that the student isn't eating during dance class. It's very important um, to stay safe. And always have a bottle of water or a cup of water ready for you to drink. All right, thanks again. And you're always welcome to um, ask any questions. Let me know if, if I can help you with anything. You could always reach me at cgomez at mykla.org. Thank you. Bye-bye.